Dave Crew. Hey, Dave. Says, Robbie, so I just built my first Unraid server with three hard drives to give it a try. Can you help me out with some of the simple things you've talked about on the show? For some reason, these things have proven very hard for a newbie. Well, congratulations, Dave, on getting that far. How to install packages, how to install modules, unmenu, how to connect to my server from the cli client. How to do a the checksum. The CLI is command line interface. Command line interface. How to do a checksum on a file that is already on the server. Also, I've found that the documentation for Unraid is not very good. It's all based on forums. So if you love forums, you'll be right at home. But if you want to learn about something, you have to spend hours reading the forums, hoping to find the thing you need. Any ideas on how to best use the forums? And that's Cruiser 3. The forums at Unraid are extremely helpful. I think. You know, you can you can browse and browse and browse and try to find answers to your question, or you can just get in there, ask your question, and they're so helpful. And and mm. you know, some communities you'll get some people saying, "Oh, that's already been answered a hundred times, you noob." Uh, with with this particular community, I didn't get that at all. I I really got the impression that those people were there to help, and uh, and that's the kind of thing. You know, that's what we represent here at Category Five, uh, and you know, there's something to be said about a community where. They don't treat you like that. They, they, where they actually take the time to answer your questions. And when I started using Unraid, I was very new to to that kind of platform. I'd worked with Raid ones and and uh, Raid fives, and only on a preliminary scale, basically setting them up and letting them run. So it's uh, it's really nice when you've got a community that will back you up. So with the forums, get in there, ask your questions specifically, and say, you know, I'm new here, really interested in Unraid, and I would love to, uh, you know, here's my question, here's what I'd like to do. Can you help me out? And I think there's going to be a lot of people there that will help. So just to kind of touch on Dave's questions there, and I think that there was actually another question here, uh, which I'll mark here, Christy. I'll, I'll kind of couple these two together, Dave and, uh, and Calvin. Calvin sent us an email this week and says, I enjoy your show. Uh, I, I have been using FreeNAS for about two years. After your Unraid build episode, I have since built two Unraid servers, and I see it as a great solution. My problem is that I'm a complete neophyte in using Linux. Uh, I have been reading some of the posts in the forums and wiki on how to install the unmenu add-on uh, in Unraid. Now, this also takes us back to Dave's question. He's interested in that particular add-on as well. All my attempts have failed. Is there a step-by-step -step source for the unmenu installation, or can you do a show on the unmenu installation and or package manager? Thank you in advance from Calvin T. Hughes, Jr. in Detroit, Michigan. Um, so I'm happy to help you out there, and like I say, we'll couple this with Dave's question because he's interested in uh, Unmenu as well. When you first install Unraid, you've got the interface that it gives you. Let me just pull up my box, which is on our, our uh, network here. It'll ask you to log in, and here we go. So this is my Unraid server, nice and simple. But there's no interface for installing applications or things like that. So first of all, to touch on Dave's question, how do we connect to this server from... Uh, from a remote computer. So I'm going to go into my terminal in uh, in Linux or your command line in Windows, however you want to do it, uh, bash prompt in Mac, and I'm going to go telnet, and then the IP address of your server, mine just happens to be .5, log into your server using the login and password that you've set it up with, and that is giving you a telnet. Now, you can do this with SSH as well if you'd like to uh, set up SSH, but out of the box, you've got basically what looks like a Linux uh, installation. If you go into the slash MNT folder, you'll see all of your disks, but then you'll also see a folder called user. In your user, you'll see your, you know, your user files, your your shares, and you can uh, you can actually get in there and and look around, and you don't have to go disk by disk. So that's how we can get into the system itself. But that is, of course, a booted Slackware. Um, like it's running right then. So if you, say, install something or create things outside of the drive tree, it's possible that those things could be lost after a reboot. So what we want to do in installing applications, now that's great for doing, you know what, I should probably touch that while we're connected. Dave was asking about doing an MD5 sum, getting an MD5 check on a file. So let's just do that quickly. MD5s are a way for you to tell if a, a, a file has been corrupted between two locations. You'll see uh, when you download, say, the Ubuntu installer CD or any CD off of the internet, you've got the, the DVD ISO or the CD ISO, and you've got an MD5 number, which looks like a big, long, random string. That string actually will tell you if, after you've downloaded that file, if the file has been corrupted in transmission or if it's good. 
So by running MD5 sums on your files on the source and the destination, you're able to tell if there has been any corruption in the transmit. So in this case, I have a file called testfile15.zip. Okay? So being logged into my server, I can go MD5 sum. I type test and then hit tab to finish the, the file name, and then hit enter. And this is going to use the Linux command MD5 sum and give me the uh, the checksum on that uh, on that file. Now in this case, my drives are all spun down right now. I don't know if you noticed that when I first logged into Unraid. All of my hard drives are spun down. It saves power when you're not using the actual array. So right now we've got that little bit of a delay because it's spinning up the drive that the file's on, and now it's already spewed out the uh, the MD5 sum. So there is the MD5 checksum for that file. Yeah, no problem. Cruiser 3 just uh, thanking me for taking the time to go over this, and I hope that this is uh, beneficial to other viewers as well. Uh, let's see, okay, how to install packages, for example. Okay, so we've covered connecting with the command line interface. That's through Telnet. That's out of the box. So uh, if you want to do SSH, that's fine, but because we're talking about internal, it works just fine for me. Uh, you can install SSH, open SSH server if you want down the road. Unmenu will allow you to do that because it's got a built-in package manager. It simplifies things, and we like that. So let's get you on to uh, Unmenu. So there is a Google Code page. Here we are. Google Code, uh, code.google.com slash p slash unraid dash unmenu. And there's three files, plugins, the menu itself, and the packages. So what I want to do is just grab the unmenu file and open it with my archive manager. And you'll see it's a nice quick download, nice and small, and it gives you these three files. So what do you do with those now? Well, see, what, what's interesting about Unraid is it actually gives you uh, mountable Samba access to your uh, flash card, the actual, you remember the USB device that's holding your Unraid? So I'm going to bring up my home folder, and I'm going to go up to the address bar, or hit Control-L if you don't see an address bar, smb colon slash slash, and then the IP address or name of your server, and then slash flash just like that so whatever your IP address is slash flash and this is the actual flash drive plugged into your server you'll see that I've already got it installed so all I've done is I've created a, a folder called unmenu on the flash drive and I extracted these three files into there now I've also gone through because I wanted everything to do with unmenu and I've got the plugins and I've got the packages I, and again I, all I've done is just simply uncompress them into this folder so everything's there so now we need to tell the system to automatically run that application. There's no installation, per se. It's just actually making it run when you turn on the computer. So uh, Unraid works with a config directory. You'll see this folder here in the root of your flash drive. There's a folder called, or a file, pardon me, called Go. And this is basically your startup script. It's a Bosch mm. script. So because I've already installed this, it's already in here. But basically, there's the command to uh, get your unmenu to run if you've put it in, indeed in the unmenu folder boot being your flash drive okay so sleep 30 makes it basically wait 30 seconds so that it has time to load everything else and then run the command in order to get it to go so when I turn on my computer now or when I turn on my unraid server I should say because I've saved that file restarted the server and now if I go back to my unraid box let's see here so I'm going to go 10.0.0.5 colon 8080. Now I've got my unmenu, or un unraid menu. So this is uh, a greatly enhanced version of unraid's interface, including what you're looking for, which is a package manager. And this package manager makes it really extremely simple to install a ton of great applications. So you can go through here. I was talking about OpenSSH earlier. So here it is. You can go in there and you can just, now I've already installed it, but you can install it. Nice and straightforward. So I hope that that kind of helps answer uh, a lot of your questions with regards to Unraid. Uh, certainly we welcome you to uh, ask more, but do get involved in their community forums. Highly recommend it because they are just great over there. Uh, that's lime-technology.com slash forum, and they would be absolutely happy to, uh, to help you out. And like I say, ask your question there because that's a really good way to get support. They're just, it's a great community. All right. Thanks, Cruiser 3. Glad to help.